How's it going everyone? Matt Roberts from Salt Lake City Bookkeeping and today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, QuickBooks video demonstration on using the QuickBooks Find feature. I'm going to show you how to access the QuickBooks Find feature and then a couple of different ways to use it. So if we just pop over to our sample company here, Vandalay Industries, the first thing is how do we get to the Find feature? Um, there's a couple ways to do it. You can go to Edit, Find, and if you notice when we went to that, Control F was also an option. So if we're back on the home screen, hit Control F, it will bring it up. Um, but I like to add it to the icon bar. And I already have it here, you can see. But I'll show you how to add it in case you don't. Um, you just right click right here on the uh, icon bar. Hit Customize Icon Bar. And hit Add. Scroll down and find transactions right here and hit OK and OK and you can see it popped up again on mine. Um, so that's the way I like to do it. That way if I'm you know in my Amex I'm going to need to find something that's just right here. So now that we're in here um, let's take a look at a couple of different things we can do. First we'll start in the simple tab here and let's say you just want to look at all the invoices for pen and publishing a particular customer. Hit find and they'll all pop up. Um, and you can drill in from here and look at exactly what everything was for. This particular one was for a hundred man's ears. Um, another way to search, you can see on this drop down all the different things you can search. You know, I tend to look a lot at invoices. Um, checks is another big one. You know, if maybe I only know the date range or when they were cut, some point in July. Um, you can put that in, hit find. It's going to show you all the, the checks in July. Um, maybe you only know um, the amount or something like that. So if we come back out and we go to check. And let's say it's a $1,000 check, but we just can't remember. Well, here was the only $1,000 check. This universally searches QuickBooks for everything because we haven't put a date range in. And this check was a contribution to the Ross Foundation for the Human Fund. So there's just a cut. The simple ones, you know, are just what it says. Very simple, easy to find. On the advanced tab, you can get a little more into it, and you know, you can look by account. All these different, um, you know, due date. All these different categories or filters. The one I want to get into detail on is amount. I use this a lot um, when I know the particular amount. Let's say it's a five thousand dollar amount. So we can universally search QuickBooks, and this is showing us. All the $5,000 transactions, whether they were checks, bill pays, it would show deposits as well if we had that. Um, see if we have any. Yeah, see here's a, oh, that was a check. Here's a deposit into the blood bank right here for 2000 So it's going to show you everything, but back to our original search. Okay, so I'm looking for, I remember it was $5,000. And I was looking for actually this right here, the down payment on Festivus and Jerk Store t-shirts. So this is a good, um, I like the advanced feature of amount. It's a great way to find transactions really quickly. Um, I tend to use that quite a bit. So just a real quick tutorial there on um, finding transactions in QuickBooks using the find feature. If you have any questions on this or anything to do with QuickBooks or bookkeeping in general, feel free to reach out. You guys have a good one.